appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it is It is definitely the Neko rig. It is not the Nico rig. It is fun to say the Nico rig, and that's okay if you want to still say it like that. It doesn't matter. But we're going to talk about how to fish it. We're going to learn a little bit more about it. Um, I always love interaction, so if anybody wants to comment in any experiences they've had, please do that. Uh, it, this, is, this is just a learning experience for everybody. I'm looking to learn more. Uh, you never stop learning. That's kind of my, uh, it's the, this the, uh, the Bass University mantra and it's definitely one of mine as well. So uh, th there it is, the, the Neko rig. And the reason that I know it's called the Neko rig is because Shin Fukai has corrected me about five different times because I've uh, grilled him uh, a bunch, you know, one-on-one -on -one about tips and techniques and exactly how he, because it's one of his staples. And, you know, so I picked up a few things from him that you'll probably uh, hear, hear about uh, a little bit later in there. So it is def he said it is the Neko rig. And uh, we're going to get into that here in just a second when we talk about the history. So let's, uh, let's get right, in, right into it. So where did the Neko rig come from? That's right. Just like a lot of other finesse techniques, it spawned out of Japan. And the, the Neko rig, what it really is, it's a, just before, before we get too far into it, uh, it's just a straight worm that has a hook rigged in the middle. You can rig it multiple different ways. I will show you that here in a minute. Uh, and then there is a weight into the head of the worm. And the whole purpose uh, by, by the guy that, that developed it was to fish a worm on the bottom that was standing straight up. And it, has, and it has completely different action than say a stand-up shaky head. Uh, because when you pull it, the worm comes together like, just like a wacky rig, comes together. Uh, and that's, that's really what he was after. He was after having that worm on the bottom that stood up straight and had this totally different action. And his name, I'm gonna totally butcher this name, I can't say it, uh, but Har Haruhiko Mirikami. I think that's correct. Uh, that is, legend has it, that's who developed the technique in Japan, uh, and it was in the, the late 1990s. So it was, you know, something that's been around over there for, for a little time, and it's taken, uh, it's taken a little bit to, to come over here. And uh, the word neko actually comes from nekosogi, it's a Japanese word, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, which me literally means the rig that catches all the fish like a vacuum cleaner. Now that's key, remember that, it's vacuum cleaner, okay? Because that's gonna help you understand how you're gonna be utilizing this technique a little bit later. So just remember that, vacuum cleaner. It's like a vacuum cleaner. And it literally means like a vacuum cleaner, which I think is funny because that's always how I've referred to it, uh, you know, internally for me is I'm using it like a vacuum cleaner. Um, so my first contact uh, was in 2007 all the way back in 2007. And you see this guy right here. Uh, some of you may know who he is. His name is Seiji Kato. He is a legendary Japanese lure designer. He's designed a ton of baits. He designed, uh, if, you, if you Google him, it's very interesting, all of the baits that he's designed. He's designed a bunch of jerk baits. He's one of the owners now of Jackal. He's designed pretty much all of those baits at Jackal. He designed the, the pointer minnow back in the day for Lucky Crab. I mean, just, a bunch of different baits, extremely nice guy, but he was my co-angler at Lake Amistad back in 2007, right? Now this is Lake Amistad back in its heyday. Those were the dumbest fish I've ever seen in my life. So this dude shows up with a spinning rod, which I thought was like a knife at a gunfight. 